Ever wondered why God sometimes tells you to pray, especially in the early morning? Well, in this video, we'll uncover why God wakes you up between 3, um, and 5 to pray. We'll talk about hidden dangers and how the enemy tries to mess with your destiny. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell for more episodes. The reason you might hesitate to pray is because you might not know what's really going on. If you could see all the spiritual attacks you face every day, you wouldn't ignore God's nudge to pray. The biggest danger for a believer isn't just sin. It's when you get too comfortable and lazy in your faith. That's when you're not paying attention. And that's when the devil can strike most effectively. Let me explain how the devil works. The challenges you face don't just pop up out of nowhere. The devil plans and schemes these attacks well before they actually happen. For example, let's say in January 2024, you lost your job and got really sick, ending up in the hospital. You might think those were the moments when the attacks happened, but no, the devil had already started his plans. These pre-planned attacks only happened when you personally went through them. You need to know something important about the devil. He doesn't just fight for no reason. He knows you have power over him, but he's really good at planning and has a lot of experience. If he plans to harm you in five years, he starts working on it ten years before. That's why, when he does attack, it often surprises you. If you haven't been praying regularly, these attacks can catch you off guard. Instead of overcoming them, you end up dealing with the mess they create. Jesus explained this in a story in Matthew 13, 24, 30. He talked about a man who planted good seeds, but while everyone was sleeping, an enemy planted weeds among the wheat and then left. When the wheat grew, the weeds showed up too. Here's the interesting part. First, the Bible says the men were asleep, showing they were spiritually lazy. Second, it says the enemy planted weeds while they were asleep. These weeds weren't visible at first, and no one knew they were there. Only when the wheat started growing and giving blessings did the hidden trouble show up. It's like the bad seeds were planted secretly and only became a problem when the good crop started flourishing. All of a sudden, bad weeds started growing among the good crops. The workers were confused and asked the boss where these weeds came from, since he planted good seeds. The boss explained that an enemy did it. Think about this. God wants your life to be good and full of blessings. But often, when things get better and God helps us, problems also show up. The enemy has a tricky way of putting small problems in our lives, like hidden seeds. These problems stay quiet until we have success. They're like troubles with a timeline. They don't show up when nothing important is happening or when you're not close to a breakthrough. Instead, they stay hidden, only showing up when you're about to succeed. For example, when you're single, there might not be any issues. But as soon as you decide to get married, problems might appear out of nowhere. Similarly, when you apply for a job and the manager likes you, those problems might show up. That's why God tells us to pray. We often don't see the spiritual side of what happens in the physical world. For instance, when people unexpectedly die in their sleep, we might think it was God's decision. But the truth is, it's possible for someone to die before their time. Many people around the world are physically alive, but spiritually dead, like walking corpses. The Bible in Ephesians 2, 1, 2 says we were spiritually dead because of our mistakes and sins, following the ways of the world and the devil. The devil waits for the right moment to make sure those who don't obey God stay spiritually dead. 
he often hides his actions behind sickness. When you go to a hospital, you might think people there only have physical problems. But many times, their illnesses come from earlier spiritual attacks that now show up in their bodies. The story of Job in the Bible is an example. Satan made Job very sick, but no one, not even Job or his friends, knew it was the devil doing it. They thought it was God punishing him. The devil achieved his goal and then left everything to unfold on its own. Sometimes the devil causes fights in families and then leaves, letting the family members keep fighting. Other times, it shows up as sickness. The devil targets someone with potential and makes them sick before leaving. Just when that person is about to do, well, the sickness starts to show. Without Jesus, people are like spiritual corpses in temporary bodies. That's why we don't always see spiritual attacks right away. The enemy can hurt us in the invisible part of our lives before it becomes visible. You might wonder why you don't feel the devil's attacks right away. Well, not every attack has an instant impact. Sometimes demons act like spiritual painkillers while attacking, making you numb to the damage. It's only after the attack stops that you realize how much harm was done. Think of it like thieves holding a homeowner hostage while they steal things. As long as the thieves keep the homeowner busy, the damage stays hidden. Imagine a homeowner who doesn't know thieves are stealing or damaging things on his property until he's free to check. Only then does he realize how much was lost. Similarly, spiritual attacks can slowly hurt us and the wounds may only show up later. Sometimes you hear about believers dying in accidents and it seems surprising, but it's important to know that the devil doesn't care about your relationship with God. Whether you followed Jesus for a long time or just started, the devil wants to ruin your future if he gets the chance. In the book of Acts, King Herod arrested some church members to harm them. He killed James, and when he saw it pleased people, he planned to do the same to Peter. But the church prayed for Peter, and he was saved. So, even Christians can face early death because of demonic attacks going against God's plan. Psalm 82, 6, 7 tells us that even though we are God's children, we can still die like anyone else if we aren't careful. While God is powerful, we must still follow His rules while on earth, or we become victims of the enemy we have power over. You need to know that the world has darkness, so stay alert and committed to God day and night. I pray that God, in His great kindness, gives you strength to overcome every challenge in Jesus' name.